Yo, what's up, everybody? Bright and early on a Saturday morning. And we're here with another episode of One Hour Gaming. And today we are checking out a game called Lake. I've never heard of this game at all. Another one of the free PlayStation downloads. Thought it might be interesting. It's a narrative-driven game, a little slower-paced game. So... Let's see what it has to offer. Let's go. So the only thing that I do know about it is I think you are a post office person, a, a, a mail lady. And I don't know if you're getting digging in people's dirt through the mail, through, these, through the episode and it's like that or what. I'm not sure what you have to do. I don't know what endless means either. I'm kind of curious about that. Maybe that's like the open world version but I'm not sure but we're gonna start a new game this is a uh, free PlayStation download make sure if you like the content hit the like button hit the subscribe appreciate it I'm gonna be debuting uh, and previewing all sorts of different games on the PlayStation Network. Interesting games. Things that maybe you would never even try or never even want to play. <coughs> <coughs> We're going to see prompt. Okay. There's no... Uh, you have to read it. But I'm glad we made the deadlines. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Maybe she's not a bail lady. Maybe I read that wrong. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, silly oh, Mike. Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And, no, Roy. Uh, wait. I, How much I won't be there drink? for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay. Right. Awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Hang up. Talk to you soon. Click. I'm done with you. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know Wait, what? She's, she's on vacation. Uh... Why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? What? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. So she's going on vacation from her coding job for the lake. All right. Little folks here. On vacation. This lake. Getting away from the city and I'm waiting. I, oh, I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. Well, hey there, shoddy with the... She got the jacket on and a little mail bag. Look at her. Crushing it. 
It's like a post post office uh, simulator kind of. I right, look around, follow the prompts. All right, walk back to the truck. <laughs> there, there, there it is. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts 22 years can, ago. Can you Shouldn't not you walk get a outside job the truck? Computers, then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Seems uh, easy enough so far. I mean, well, why is she going here for two weeks to? I don't know. All right, package, I'll leave it on the doorstep. That's the last of them. Ooh, that look is fast. Might have to slow that down on the sticks. Looking around the environment. I mean, it's not bad, you know. I mean, it's not the best You're graphics. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. They're fitting for Should kind of the style one? of the game. Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Can I, can I get the drive, at least? I mean, did you bring me here just to walk <sighs> out of the, no the truck? There's no place like home. How, how big is this Sure place? isn't. Can't wait to get home, either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Adios. That's my address, 102. I got a dog? So what happened with the with the dad quit? Did the dad die? Hi Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. The freezer stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Kind of blueberry Meredith, pie. it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for Ad at 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Man, calling me at my parents' house, even. You know they didn't have cell phones since this is 85 or 86. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? You'd be a smart ass, yeah, oh. whatever. Yeah, I guess. Good morning. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Okay. Lost? Me? Bon voyage. I'm just gonna be as like I'm gonna take the most negative options available. Walk to the track. There we go. We get to drive. Let's go. Delivering mail. Um, letters. Got stuff. How do I move this? There we go. So let's start here. We set a list. Uh, 
Oh, you can't make like a waypoint? Like a GPS sort of thing? Okay. Well, there it is. Stop and deliver this one. <laughs> Just pop out in the middle of the street. I mean, it ain't like nobody's driving by. Oh, there's no sprint. There's no jump. Wait, I need. What, what place is this? The general store. They get a package. I need to know the address? How do I even see the address? Hold on. What was the map? R1. Well, let me zoom in. It says it's zoom in, but I can't zoom in. But how do I know which, how do I know what that is? So we're on Main Street. Got letters at 207 Main Street. All right, so it's got to be 207 Main Street. Than I thought. Come on, baby. You got the girl. You got you got the you got to be able to lift at least you, what fifty pounds. <clears throat> Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college twenty-two years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? <laughs> I know what it's like. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said, too, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, oh no. Tom I wonder if it's going to rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. How's your knee hurting? Can we steal some stuff? Some big dings. <laughs> Look at that. Look at these brand names. Some squeets. Try our newest squeets. Or the kids' favorite big dings. Or the hi ah. <laughs> what else we got? Pop sting. Pop sung. Fruit Twinkles. Oh man, that's a Kool-Aid right there. That's they slipped that. In. That's like a copyright infringement. Popcorn later. Mr. X cereal. Try our new Mr. X cereal. Brought to you by General Mills. Your kids will love it. Mr. X. Filled with nutrition. What else do they got over here? Just the same? <laughs> Don't forget that after school treat. Squeet. Or if you're on a diet, try our lean bulk. What are you what are you all up in my mix for? It's all the same stuff. Why you come up why are you all up on me like that? 
apples, 16 cents. Why are they sitting in water? Oh. <laughs> Tangerine, 17 cents. Oh man, the 80s. More Mr. X and Big Dings. We got some Frozen Za. Nice. Some postcards. Okay. Photography Mini Lab. So they got the dark room. I like it. Oh, snap. What a dog. Oh, this cop is pissed. Sorry, bud. I had a package to deliver, and there's no sprint button. What if I get pulled over? That'd be awesome. Alright, so now we got a letter up here, so it's gotta be like the 107 main or whatever. Dude, don't just cut in front of me like that, bro. Can I just like old like pull up? What is this right here? 103. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. The old Sugarman away. place. Oh, old Sugarman, the way he used to look out the window at us, waving his fist. Get off my lawn! I don't know. Let's go check the city out. Take a ride through the neighborhood. Does it say the freaking address? Oh, I'm running the stop signs. It don't matter. I'm a mail delivery person. So she said, ooh, it's a fox. She said, you know what? I could use a break from work. My parents are going out of town. They're going to need a help doing the post office delivery. I mean, I guess I could see it. This is like a, you know, it's a simple. You know, something like you can kind of do so if you use your mind Stan's all the time. Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Oh, man, you didn't know about that, did you? <laughs> it ain't Stan's no mo. <laughs> That was the worst. <laughs> I'm a 500 Lake Road. Oh, it's heavy. Come on, baby girl. Put your back into it. You can do it. Put your back into it. <laughs> Look at a parking job. I'm trying not to hit the, uh, you know, I don't want to hit the whip, man. Meredith was? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now. Oh, let bless me your you. heart. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's Damn. you, all right? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. She oh, hit me with the don't wrinkles be in like the gray that hair. Now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say to the mirror now come here tell me everything okay one quick drink then yeah, I know you're busy huh? little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already Man, I, I news just goes got around here. pretty quickly around here right so coffee something stronger something stronger um, I will not take no for an answer we're going something stronger It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one they're, point. They're, they're really selling this blueberry pie. Here we go. Uh, actually, coffee. I try to stay healthy these days. You trying to tell me my pie is a health hazard now, Miss Wise? Ashley, yeah. one blueberry pie. Man, see, people don't listen. A 
And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> well. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Oh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. A lot of mercy. Hmm, that didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. A disaster I'm sorry, magnet. Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Cool, I ain't want to talk to you anyways. She's gonna blow me off like that. Place is on fire. No. <laughs> That'd be funny. Moe's Diner. Stop on down to Moe's Diner. Try the wettest burger in town. Alright, where to next? Skirp Earth. Oh, everything's over there. Alright, cool. Wait. Yeah. East Lake Road. Oh, no. Ah, oh, stay on the road. It's like nobody driving here. Oh, hello, person. Do I have a horn? No. Nope. Uh oh. Yeah, there it is. See? Got it. Is that my home there? I'm Stop home. Actually enjoying this. Take a quick dump. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Just your friendly mail person here to deliver the mail. You're welcome, kind citizen. Happy to do my job. See, I thought I was supposed to be on the the driver the, the driver's gonna be on the other side so you could just reach out and hit him with the mail. Where are we at? Two hundred Lake Road. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh, cute. All right, so what is this oh, going to turn into? Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello Mail there. Person. What's your name, then? <laughs> well, I'm not a mailman, exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss. Heavens, I meant no offense. It's just that male woman doesn't sound right. Does it, Ooh, Genevieve? Oh, you can't say that Weiss, these days. Course. I'm about to cancel You're the elderly Emily's lady. You're girl, aren't you? <laughs> this is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. It's Meredith. Wouldn't want right. the cat to get it wrong. Straight oh, up. Pardon Say my me name then. right. You do remember me, don't you? No. <laughs> of course, you're the cat lady. I gotta say it. I gotta say that. Of course. You're the cat lady, and uh, you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yeah, take your damn bear. Yes, here you go. 
Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Oh, Still adorable. doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Yeah. Oh, yep. A teddy bear is a poor substitute for a real hug, that's for sure. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? <laughs> I know Frank would never feel up the packages. Yeah, we, we, we're gonna say, come on, this lady, she ain't about to front on me like this. I mean, I have to take it out of the van, and I have eyes. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss like, Jenkins. Wow, Genevieve. Meredith's a dick. <laughs> She went to the big city and she switched up on us. She belongs to the streets now. <laughs> so, like, what is the? I mean, is this literally just In just a different days, game? I won't even need that map. Yeah, you will. I will always need that map. I don't remember. I need GPS to get around my real neighborhood that I live in. 300 bike, what do I need? Another package? <laughs> Bit of a nosy posy, huh? <laughs> oh, car part. It's got somebody strumming in the studio playing this. Wait, where's the package? I grabbed it, bro. Why'd you leave it in there? shark delivery hi there I've got some mail for this address you're not Frank luckily I don't think a mustache would suit me haha -ha, real funny but that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose the goose the goose yes your white and wobbly van duh I'm Lori I'm Providence Oaks mechanic the only and mechanic. I'm the one who keeps the goose running Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. I mean, I'm already driving it. If you there's can't ever make anything these, uh, wrong with it, you bring it back to me, can't yes? Can't make these demands. Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> nope. Did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay, so why they fit why they mention that? Um uh, thanks, I guess. You're uh, welcome, I guess. I guess. I'm just trying to be as big of a smart ass as I can be. Try some cola! Cola cerveza. <laughs> Pills light. Can't go in or nothing. Oh, back out here. I'm just trying to press buttons to see what things do. There are no other buttons. Just a beautiful lake. And just some mail to be delivered in this quiet and quaint town. Do you see a bear? Do you have a bear sighting? Look at that. Uh, 
up in Rick. Oh, so, right. Uh, Bear Creek, near the old lumberyard. House. There's a new face. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I'm here to deliver mail and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will Robert. be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. What's up, Big Rob? With the beard? Oh, what the? <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. That All right. Doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. <laughs> what are you getting out there? Why you put me all up in the mix like that? Just tell me that, bro. I did my job for today. Look at that. get on a video game soundtrack. Alright, so, uh, yeah. This is what it is, right? Like, I don't know if there's gonna be a, uh, any climax here, or a mystery to unravel, or her parents don't come back and you gotta make a choice or something or I got no idea. Pull up in downtown, look at downtown's popping. office coming up. Is that where it is? How do I get in the parking lot? Probably past it. Uh, yep. Time to spin the block. This is a nice little neighborhood. All the houses look the same. Oh! Curbed it. More curb action. What is this spot there? Oh, I think I set a marker there. Here we go. Post office. Where do I park? And the work day. All right, do we get like a score for it? Do I get like a perfect score or a time thing? Nothing? An achievement? Anything? Parents calling. Did you deliver the mail, Hello? Meredith? Hi, Meredith. It's mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, mom. I'm all right. The job's okay, I guess. It's not the most exciting thing I've ever done. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. It's only for two weeks. Dad it's drove that truck for decades. Yeah, but I'm not Dad, remember? How right. is he, by the way? Right. Ugh, don't get me started. 
you went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. They're getting lady. They're having a good old time. Stay home, watch TV, stay home, read a book. What's on, what's the, open the agenda? <laughs> I ain't got nothing on the agenda. What the hell you mean? <laughs> All right, close the agenda. What are we going to do? This, this, is a lot, this is a tough decision right here. Read a book. We're going to watch some football. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Bon Has Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen. Henri. Unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> so like, yeah. This is it, huh? What if I get the whole two weeks in? Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet feed. Uh, we'll make a left and knock out all that. Followed by the weather. PO positive or pet feed. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. What we got for Main Street? Three five one base for VHS and Betamax. The Flick Shack. Welcome to the Flick Shack. We got Back to the Present. Oh, that's fire. That is fire right there. I like that. Haha. <laughs> oh, we got like some movie titles, bro, for sure. Okay, let's get this package. Welcome off. to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? The Flick Shack. That's all dirty. Man. That Hold sounds on. dirty. You're our new postal worker? <clears throat> Talk about not looking the part. Oh, dang. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> is that a compliment? Right. Trust we'll me. Call you it out. definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Grew up here, and now I'm back to do my yeah, dad a favor. I don't want to think I'm actually back. Ah, I'm a big city girl. I myself girl. have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here. Came to do myself a favor. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Touche. Miss. Miss. Oh, she put that out there. Oh, shorty might want some business. Ooh, let me. Uh, should I go? I ain't going to front on her because I'm trying to flirt with her. Let's go. So... How's business? Oh, uh, you know, it's it uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> uh, I guess it's gonna, because there's not much else fail. to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? You can just make a flick. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. The Choice bee. Instead of the fly, everything. they got the bee. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Oh, we got Maybe I should watch titles, more movies. Bro. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Yeah, uh, Call Miss me Angie. Eastman. Okay, and here, Angie. someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. Oh, the what is that? The postman always rings twice. <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. Yeah, you can find out what you need. <laughs> Let's go get dinner tonight. Uh, touche, Angie. Yeah. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice regardless. 
Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to talk again later. Yeah, she, she got a nice little quirky outfit on and stuff. Okay. Dharma and Greg. What we got here? Gremlins. Like, gremlins. Hey, come on. Why are you all on me like that? Susie Lee. Kung Fu Kid. <laughs> Look, gremlins. Kung Fu Kid. That's funny. That's funny. What is this? Ghost blasters, oh hell no. Nah. The supernatural spectacle. Danny Akalad. Sigmund Weevil. <laughs> Bill Curry. <laughs> Alright, man. They had a little fun with the maze. 19 candles. What? Awesome. Oh, it's the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but I can't see what it says. Oh, that's uh, oh, there's one over here. Mech man, oh meh man, it's like a super man. Yeah, meh. The friendly dead. <laughs> oh, they got the odd father down there. Oh, that's dope. Space wars. Look, oh, there it is. The stony thriller photo. Display. <laughs> I like that. Meh man, too. Meh. Meh. Susie Lee got married. Look, the, the thermometer. <laughs> Czar face. Repo woman. Oh, dude, this is funny. With LGM instead of ET. I don't get that. I don't know what that is. Dude, bravo. Bravo on them. You know, taking the time to do this. Hold me up instead of stand by me. <laughs> pretty in lilac instead of pretty in pink. Look at there. They're on fire. They are on fire. What is this? They got the chicks in there. I don't even know. Instead of footloose, what is that? Oh, what's it say? I can't see it. It's supposed to be footloose, though. Blade jogger. <laughs> the brunch bunch. Oh, dude, they are just, they are crushing it, bro. The maze for the labyrinth. All right, this may be, like, one of my favorite things in this game, dude. Oh, to me, that ain't got the music. Oh, that'd be awesome. But they got the buy one, get ones. All the same stuff. All right, that was fun enough. That was fun enough. Dude, that was awesome. No lie. No, you can't even lie. That was cool. A little long on the delivery there, Miss Meredith. Getting your flirt on. What's going to happen here? Some blossoming relationships? Who knows? See, I should just be able to pull up right here. Bink, bink. Just reach out and hit it. Here's your mail. Welcome to Lake. A relaxing weeks. <laughs> A relaxing fortnight away. A Lake Town delivering mail. Just stopping in the middle of the road, like there, yeah, whatever. Oh, let me get the package. 402 Pine Street. I have a package for you. It's a butt cake. Let's see if I could piss this person off, too. Hopefully they ain't here and I'll have to deal with them. I can just drop the package off. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Can you begin um, by opening the door? Package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? 
Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Lift up the mask. Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? Barry I'm sure you remember Evans. our high school star quarterback. Star Hi. QB. Be right there, Commander Grace. Now what's he doing? Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. You married, you married quarter quarter Barry? Barry? And had kids? I had no idea. Why well, don't you invite me to your wedding? Can happen in what's up? Years. I thought we were friends. I didn't get no invite. Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Right. She'd just be out there tweeting. Oh, there's no tweeting. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is going to have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you oh, were Oh, no. Away. Also, I work there now at the diner. Oh, dude. Taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. Quarter Barry. <laughs> they to call see him you, Quarter Barry. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. Oh look, see, she didn't even get the wedding invite, man. That's kind of that's kind of shady. If we was friends like that, and you didn't invite me to the wedding, come on, man. Childhood friends. He would find talking in years, but like, hey, man, oh, I remember we were friends for ten years. We ain't talked in a while, but look, man, she come to my wedding. I don't know, right? Or at least you would have talked to somebody in a long time. See, nowadays there's no excuse with the internet and everything else. You just, if you ain't hit somebody up, it's because you don't want to. Oh, I'll tell you that turn on him. Take care of these two. On our mission. This is both male. Right on cue. <laughs> as soon as the song ends, we pop out. Her own circle. Deliver the mail, man. Got music bumping from the truck. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. Party I'm invites. Guessing party invitations? I don't get the party invite. Can you talk to people? No? No? I can't say hi. I'm trying to say hi to you. What are you wearing, bro? What are those? Ew. Oh my goodness. This dude's off the chain, man. He playing, he playing too much with that. Out here looking like Russell Westbrook. I heard a sister. Go left. 
left and a right, and they're all there. And I gotta go all the way around the lake. Skirt. Stop sign, sir. I didn't even see it. We had to cut that off for a minute. Rather enjoy the nice hum of goose here. Oh, we we're passing them. Alright, I wasn't even paying attention. There was a cat pooping in the yard. That was funny. I saw a cat over there pooping in the yard. Then it just stood up. Unless it was just, just sitting down. So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. Bro, What's I'm wrong, just here Mr. for the Hens? mail. It's poor little Mortimer. <laughs> He's fallen <laughs> ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just... Wasn't. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Hell no. I'm no. sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Driving around living creatures is a little above my pay grade. Right. Hmm. I suppose rules are rules. Rules all rules but and can regulations. can make an exception for poor little Mortimer? Poor little Mortimer? You better take him off it. No. Well, it's my first week, no. so... No, I can't. I... I understand. I'll Good. find someone else. Bye, Miss Jenkins. I don't want to deal with that damn Bye, cat. Take your mail. You didn't even want the mail. She she set me up. She didn't even want the mail. She set me up to have a cat. She got cats all in the yard. Like I'm some sort of freaking cat delivery person. She didn't even offer me no money for it. You're supposed to slide me some green. Grease me up if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Curb shot. Those brakes work. They definitely work. Two oh three Walnut Drive. It's gonna get in the front way. I don't know. I keep walking around the back. I don't know why. corner on him. Skirt! Well, I'm probably the hey, fastest male person. Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Ziegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Why did I tell you they're the neighbors? Are these my neighbors? I mean, it is a small town, right? We just got new neighbors. Let's turn the radio on. Let's see if they got any news. I would drive all the way over there. The other side of the lake. There's that this lady like. I'm gonna need you to come in and just do a soundtrack for this game. Man, this one's gonna be a hike. It's a big lake, man. Is this like AI country? That's what it sounds like. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is AI country. Man, when I listen to the words, they just like mix, uh, uh, it's just like, just phrases. That's funny. We got a package for the, for the motel, hotel, motel, holiday inn. Sir, Gamer, parcel dude. for you. Like, yo, bro. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Right. Throw the parcel in. Is that a parcel for me? No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. <laughs> We've got that awkward stare. <laughs> Listen to how vague these words are. Who picked up and lost everything? Does it all become for granted with a wedding ring? Used to think our span or dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. I don't think that, I don't know. I feel like it's AI. I was just a little girl, like my mama used to say. Ooh, happiness requires work every day. <laughs> See, like, what does that even mean? I just feel like they're just saying shit. Oh! I'm gonna cut through. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh my goodness, Mr. Johnson. Well, at least the vehicles don't take damage. <laughs> I gave it all to you, but you what? <laughs> you lost? I don't know what they said. I'm convinced. I'm convinced it's AI. So this is the game. I mean, there's. I feel like... So what are we doing here? Where does this go? Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you got plenty of time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. There's not much to do around here. 
Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? <laughs> yep, yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Priority Thanks so much. Mail. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. It's horrible. <sighs> Absolutely atrocious. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna watch that. Uh huh. All so right. we can talk to Miss well, Angie. Let's watch this. Because the postman rings twice, but the post lady's gonna come multiple times. She got oh, mail to deliver. Steve's so she's gonna constantly and be there, a right? note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there, anyways. Take care, Tess. I got a million files. I'm gonna knock it out, though. Return to the post office. We here though. Miss something? No. Just gotta gotta go. Talk to Frank. Hope you're Frank, enjoying the job as much off. as your dad did. Yo, oh, that's all we got? Okay. We got a whole crap ton of mail to deliver. Look at that damn mail, man. I want to keep driving around talking about all that mail. I want to go, hold on. I want to go to the Flick Shack. That's what we're going to do. We ain't about to Good deliver Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. Positive or Pet P. Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned Angie. videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly hey. noted, Angie. And now, Good job on to today's radio. weather, we can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more and more. Oh, there's a, there happens to be a package here, too. What a quinky dink. And I got the movie, and I rewound it for you. I think, I hope. Too, baby girl. How you doing today? Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You've watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. Mm -hmm. It's a classic. Here's some insight. And probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well... It's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Smoldering. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here together. don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. Whoa. That's a great film. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Well, keep feeding my VCR, and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it, and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. Any particular reason? Yeah. Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, what's your plan? Oh, we're whispering now? Yes. I want you to meet me, say, at... Five today. It's going down. 
What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. Oh, Amen. come on, shawty. All I'm right. in. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this I'm afternoon. In. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place? It's 102 New Street, right? Come to the crib. Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name here. in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Oh, well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Yeah. Come on, baby girl. We're here to get this mail done. Where's the sprint button? I need to go home. I need to clean. I need to shower. I need to shave my legs. Put on some, uh, uh, put some fragrances on. You know what I mean? We got to get this thing going. All right, get in there. Let's go. We're flying today. She didn't say it wasn't a date, though. It's more like a business proposal, but hey, you know, we can handle business too. Just saying. Uh, how about you come my way? You see, even the radio knows what's up. Wow, you, you got to move a little faster than this, Meredith. Your way? Your way? My way? Both ways? Multiple times. Hey. I mean, every single one of these songs is just like the most vague of vague country. It's mm. like, it's like AI like country. Bills. It's like, like Bill, stop going through people's mail, commenting on it. A little nosy posy, what do you call it? Little nosy posy. Meredith, you nosy posy. Right beside of the truck. <laughs> Hit the brakes on him. Ugh. Day, get back to the house. Angie about to come through. We gonna watch a movie. We gonna VCR and chill, right? Some microwave popcorn. Yeah, or some Jiffy Pop on the stove. What you know about that? Them country roads. Woof. Ah, uh, scarf. Uh. 
through the trees. This dude be getting some mail out here, man. What you got, a pen pal or something? Everybody want to interact with me. Look, man, me, me and Angie got a thing going on later, man. I ain't got time for all this. Let me take There's him, a take face I remember. Yeah, I was just here the other day. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Coming to collect. You've been ducking them taxes, bruh. You can't duck taxes oh, like that. They're coming to get you. Every day. More bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lake sign for years. And now they're going to bulldoze it and build apartments. Ooh, some nice condos. Sounds like a great place to live, though. <laughs> that view. If you want a nice view, take a picture. Not when a grumpy man is blocking it. Ooh, they say you can file on. an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. Go do it. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. Right, straight Just up. Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well, we're gonna put you on the targeting list, the, the, the terrorist list, man. You're doing too much. Good, Good luck, luck with that, with that bro. Thanks. I ain't got time to I'll deal with you. See if I can come up with something. Right. Me and Angie gotta go. Uh, we got. We got. Watching movies. Nightmare at Elm Street out, out yet in 85? Back in the town. Dude, I've nailed that bridge every time. I swear I was waiting, I was going to hit the side of it. Whipping that mail truck. Whipping that work. I'm whipping that work. There's a She's gonna fall in love in the lake town and not want to leave. She's supposed to be doing the documents, but she's gotta hook up with Angie tonight. Hold up, man. They're gonna make us choose. I just remembered that. We're supposed to work. I can't work. Not when I got shouty doo wop on the side trying to get busy. Take your mail, bro. Oh, your package. 102 Pine Street. Here's your lube. <laughs> it's not what we see, it's what we choose to be. What? What do these words even mean? No, no answer. There you go, boom, nice. There is no Amazon out here. I am Amazon. It's not what we see. It's what we choose to be. Remember, that's not what we see, it's what we choose to be. Truer words were never spoken by anyone ever anywhere. At any time. Let me look at the map. Where is this at? I still got all sorts of stuff to do. What are you talking about, man? So I got one up here to the right. State of Oregon. Drop off two packages. Dag nabbit. I'm 
nice mountain though. To cut the tunes back on. We was, we was rocking. By crazy circumstance. Goodbye, memory lane. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Then we gotta walk all the way down there. So this is Mackie's. This is where she wanted me to take the damn cat to. What is this, like a cat body now? They're closed. There's your package, bruh. You got a package, bruh. Hello, Mr. Mackey. I have a few letters for you. What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Eh, nothing much. I'm the new mail carrier for a bit. I have a few letters for Boy, you. Just I was wondering over. why you were wearing your dad's get up, enjoying yourself so far. I only just started, so I'm I not sure commit yet. To it, you know? I eh, you got to time it. to make up your mind. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Temporarily. After two weeks, I'm gone. The water looks really murky. Not even clear at all. You fall in? Nope. Had to see, man. Goodbye, the way that we didn't dance. Why we even love it? I mean, like, it's. Kay Evans working? Ugh! That's how we park. Moe's be getting a lot of stuff, man. They gotta get their supplies. Here's your mayo. Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm fine, <laughs> but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. Would you mop the wall? <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie? Ashley, said something about one something blueberry stronger. pie? Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? Well, being back feels a bit strange. It does. It I does. delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? It was a bit weird seeing her again. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in. That's what for she said. Both of you, especially after <laughs> being away for so long. Then again, there are some things Quarter that berry. never change, right? 
you being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. But it was the diner well. looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? I like what you did with the place. Yeah. I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. The world keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Keep on trucking, baby girl. Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten, ten and years. a half, almost. I've been gone that long. Oh, boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. We getting deep, man. I can't even crack jokes, man. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back uh, Back up. to that blueberry pie? So I did. For me. <laughs> Can we get but forward also with this? for Kay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish yeah, I'd known. I wish I'd known. She didn't even invite me to the wedding. S sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? They might have. I've been so involved in work. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. <sighs> Nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, was all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. I'm not sure if we can just pick up where we left off. Well, there's one way to find out. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why oh, I decided keep cracking this jokes about my face, man. purpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. Yeah. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Yep. Ashley? Yep. What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. Yep. Well, that's no good. I expect pie next time. Huh? Yep. I'll hold you to that. I expect you pie. Bet. Bye, Maureen. Don't, don't, you, don't you let me down, Mo. Don't you let me down, Mo Mo. All right, look, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and have this little, drop this package off. Then we about to go get cleaned up. I'm gonna get my hair did, do my nails, shave up for you know when Angie come, come through. We're gonna see what's gonna happen with Angie, and I'm gonna end the video there. This one of those, another one of those stupid games gonna get me trapped in just because I want to see what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, like what am I doing all this for? Where does it go? You know, if I didn't like the movies, then we wouldn't be doing this. So what if I'd uh, uh, pursued one of the other quests, you know, with the, dropping a the cat off or something? Or maybe if I would have called dude Robert, would we start flirting or something? You know, I don't know. It's like, what's what's the deal? Like, what's the deal with the different options I had there? Driving here. Don't let them tell you what you feel. Or tell you who you are. Oh, there must be more. There must be more. There must be more. Oh, uh, cool little tree house here. Look at that. Jackson Street. Did I got mail? Or is it the next house? Which one is it? 
Guess it's this one. That's yep, the last that's of the last them. Of them. What's up? Let's see what Angie up to. It's time. The big moment we've all been waiting for. Almost hit that. Almost hit Ron Jeremy there. People just be walking out in the middle of the road. What's up with that, man? Dang. Let's go. Skirt. And the work day. All right. Yeah. Here it is. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What? What movie is that? Weird Science. It's called Weird Science. Oh, you really haven't heard of that it? that movie. It's a it great movie. It was a pretty movie. big hit. I figured you, with your computer background. All right. I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python... <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Brian, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look, look the, the part of a computer. She's rocking the fit, dude. That sweater's lightweight raw. I contain multitudes. That's Walt Whitman, by the way. Not a movie, so I don't expect you to know. Ooh, too shady returned. returned. So, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Here to meet you. Let's just say I needed a change of scenery. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. Mm -hmm. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter for one thing, slower for another. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too. Let's keep I it think. going. Let's just keep this it took dialogue some getting going. Getting used to. So tell me about this you. plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. What? Wow, this is the future of entertainment. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay, but what's the, what's revenue, the revenue model yeah. here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which, I guess, is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The so love bug and a nightmare, nightmare on Elm Street. Elm Street. Nice. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After they actually Lori used the real the box, movie. I have That's a awesome. Movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it oh, for now. Dude, if you're movies. in, that is. So, you in? All right, I'm in. All right. Where, where, where These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I thought that this was I'm uh in. I thought that this All was a little right. more than that. Thanks a bunch, babe. Ooh, now, babe. do you have any more she of this me great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. No, oh, no, you ain't going nowhere. Rush? Don't leave. I left the store unattended. Better get back. <laughs> I guess time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I guess so. 
Bye, babe. Ooh, that's another babe. She's gonna be babe twice. Oh man, I only got I only got like another uh 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 week week and a half to hit it. Hello. Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad. How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? Sounds good. But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the that people. Angie girl. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Uh, Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing oh, too man. serious. And what about Mildred Jenkins? Mildred likes to talk a lot. I sometimes lady, right? postpone delivering her mail until she and her cats can't ambush me. Speaking of ambushes, your mom is telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. <laughs> okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand by me. Uh, about four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom <laughs> for me. <laughs> Will do. Bye, Meredith. Man, we're gonna work on the we're gonna work on the, the, the our job since Angie ain't wanna stay and hang out. All look right. at that look at that Here computer. She traveled with that back then. They thought that she was, you know, somebody crazy. Mail, mail, mail. Oh no, yeah, the boxes. Shine, P.O. The time has come for a P.O. Positive report. That's it. Let's Today's go. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior Mildred. authority on pets and thieves. <laughs> it's so positive this time, Jack. My cat, Mortimer, was really ill, but thanks to Bert Mackey, he's in great condition again. That's fantastic news, Mildred. Now let's see if it will keep raining cats and dogs. Oh, I'm stop happy to it. say it will That's be dry later much. on with a bit of sunshine. Back to the playlist. I would cut that off. That so with that said, we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. This has been Lake, a free download on the PlayStation Network. I don't know where this game's gonna go. Um, <laughs> it's got me it's got me interested and intrigued I'm like locked in and I want to see what this lady's doing and what the whole point of the game is man like is there going to be a love interest is there going to like her parents going to die is she going to have to choose whether to stay here go back to the big city is it is the is addict going to fail does she get all the work done in time and what's up with this VCR plan I may have to do a whole separate channel on just this, man. This is this is serious. So, with that said, man, we're gonna end out the video here. Appreciate you stopping by, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and then I'll see you for another episode of One Hour Gaming. <laughs>